This is a huge problem. Sir. <laughs> we are on the road heading to an Airbnb. It is not our, our Airbnb because it is New Year's Eve. Yep. And we are spending it in Idlewild with some friends and their kids and... Idlewild is a mountain town above Palm Springs. Um, it's a small little mountain town and uh, there's no like ski resorts or anything, but it's a good alternative to Big Bear or like Lake Arrowhead if you're in the Southern California region. It's not as crowded, it's not as busy. Yeah. It's a little more calm and just like exactly what we need. Just to unplug for a couple days and chill. There's and, a hot tub. And ring in the new year. Yeah. This house is really beautiful. It's like a cool, what is it, like an A-frame. Not an A-frame. Yeah. It's just like a beautiful cabin. It's massive. It looks, it looks massive from the photos, which is great. Yeah. So. And like we've said before, it's always interesting seeing what they update on the app on the staying side of Airbnb. Yeah, on the guest side. Because the whole check instruction thing has like changed. Changed, totally, and since, had no clue. Since, what is it, July? Yeah, yeah. since we went to that Airstream. Yeah. So, love being guests of Airbnbs as well because it's nice to pick other people's brains and see what they do. Maybe it'll snow, probably not, but it did rain yesterday. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be very cold. Yeah. We were like, are we going the right way? I know, you guys kept stopping. I was like, buddy. My map stopped back at the dirt road. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Team name? Team Puppet Sun. Day, we all just kind of chilled and hung around the house. There were so many spots to hang out at, like this fire pit, and there was a hot tub. There was just a lot to do at this one place for all of us. There was like six of us and some kids, and it, it was so spacious and beautiful, and the hosts were super accommodating. We're definitely going to come back to this Airbnb, and we'll put the link for it in the description box below, and the hosts are actually going to come stay at our place, hopefully in February or March, so we will let you know how that goes. 
And then we had to head down to Palm Springs because Finn was staying with his Mimi and Papa. And we took the Palms to Pines Highway. It's really beautiful to go pick up our little man. Whoa, party foul. Where are we? <laughs> we just got to the house. It's like 9 o'clock on Tuesday night. We wanted to wake up here so we could work from here and then get things done. Kristen, how long has it been since you've been to the house? Probably over a month. What did you just get through? I just got over being sick, too. So we really started out the year strong. Both of us had cold slash flus. Fun times. Now we're back going a little congested, but we're going and we're going to get things done. We're back. The crew is back together. Finn's here, too. Oh, he's ready to get out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look who's here. Finn's here. He's got his winter jacket on. This shall be a room of choice. We choose this room because it's easier to clean. <laughs> so um, we stay in the easiest room to clean. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? It is a stressful day today. We have a short amount of time, right, Kristen? Yeah, 25 minutes until our burritos are ready. No, not until our burritos are ready. That's what's stressful. <laughs> Kristen's ordering burritos for us, but no, um, that's not what's stressful. We have a laundry list of things to do at the house and we have to leave tonight. Um, we have things we have to do back at home tomorrow and so we're going to get while the getting is good. The first thing that I need to address is the back door is really messed up and dragging on the ground. So I watched a few YouTube tutorials. I'm gonna test it out and if it works, then I'll tell you what I did. But if not, I think I'm gonna have to run down to the hardware supply store to find a new door little scoop that goes on the bottom of the door because it's broken. That's the first order of business. Um, I need to fix some things in the bathroom that we are replacing and then I need to film an ad. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like that much actually. Wow. You should see my list. See, some of these screws might be loose. Um, so I'm gonna try tightening them first and then um, we'll go from there. So it seems like all these screws just keep spinning when I put the screw in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick, I, I learned this on the internet. You put a toothpick and some wood glue in there and then uh, that gives new wood for the thing to grip on too. So I'm gonna try that real quick. So I just noticed that it's not actually the main door that's dragging. You can see right here, there's like a, a thing on the bottom of the door from like a really long time ago that is, that's what's dragging. The door itself is not dragging. So I'm gonna, take the door off the hinges and try and pull this off and see if that will fix the problem. So you can see under the door now, but I have a door sweep right there. So um, that was a door sweep on a door sweep. I think this should be an easy fix. I just need to put the door back on and put that back on and maybe get a new one for the outside. I love this stuff. It's massive and it lasts forever. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. This could cause a fire and I'm gonna need to tell our cleaner about it. 
This is a huge problem. Burritos are here. Burritos. Yum, yum, yum. There's a market by us that sells breakfast. Breakfast burritos are it there. We've also got like pancake breakfast from them before, but breakfast burritos really slap. So this is going in the belly. All right, back to work. If you've been following us for a while, you've seen us install these Ikea butcher block countertops. We love them. They've withheld so well. And every few months we do this conditioner because they get a little dried out. People are doing the dishes, there's water spots, you know, this really helps it stay beautiful. And look at this glisten, you guys. Look at it, mm, so oiled up, it looks amazing. Like brand new. We gotta get to round two of our updates and that first thing will be soap dispensers. We bought soap dispensers at TJ Maxx, like Home Goods. Show me. We got these, uh, but we bought these at Home Goods like two years ago. Kristen thinks they're cute. I don't think they're cute. I thought they were cute at the time. This is more Italian villa vibe, <laughs> or like wannabe Italian villa vibe, because no one in an Italian villa, villa probably even has this, right? Okay, anyway. So we got some new soap dispensers that actually match the house and we're gonna change them out. I'm really excited about them because they have like a stone vibe to them. Let me show you. We got two of them so they match and they came with three of the pumps, which is mm. cool, just in case anything happens. Way more of the vibe, right? Mm -hmm. Like not this Meyer lemon, like we don't even have a lemon tree here. Like citrus trees aren't growing out here, you know what I mean? Big difference, so very, very excited about this. Oopsie. I'm like talking to myself. I know. Alright. It works! Alright, give it a nice. What a difference. <laughs> I know that sounds so cheesy, but... I mean, not I, really. I think it looks great. Sky, lemon verbena. That's to go. Cute. Black and gold. We're over here matching things, you know? <laughs> We're trying. Also, my hair is trying right now. Very hard to do something. I don't know. What's next? Your hair's always like weird in the video, so is mine. Okay, now we're gonna change out the shower curtain. Woo! Why? Because it's been a cheapy, like plastic, very thin shower curtain. Four years and we went to Idlewild recently and they had an awesome natural linen uh, shower curtain and I was like, I need that. And the liner? And the liner is white, we've decided. Why? Because with the plastic clear liners, you see any water spot. And it doesn't mean that it's gross, it just means that you can see every splash of water on it when it dries, it just doesn't end up looking nice even if it's brand new and clean. So we got a white liner and a natural shower curtain. And I'm very excited to try them out. Yeah, we definitely chose the wrong stain color. What stain would you have chosen? I don't know. Like a natural? Yeah. You know, and I don't know why I had some obsession with gold. Like I wanted everything brass and gold. And now I hate it, you know? <laughs> like, well, we can change it. I really don't like it. Yeah. But it doesn't look bad. It looks no. good. I just don't like it. But it's about time for a makeover. Yeah. <laughs> so while Michael films, a little bit talking to the camera. I'm gonna film not talking to the camera and swiffering the bathroom. That's something that a lot of you actually have commented and told me that you do as well. I swiffer the ceiling and the walls of the bathroom about every month or two. Now I say two because I haven't been here in almost two months. That is something I like to do every time I'm here when we clean. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And I also found this in the back room and I'm gonna stick it underneath 
area right here where we have teas. So let me show you. We also have tea as well as our coffee. Down here, I like to get green tea. And then I've got this organic ginger green tea. Still seems full. And I'll just add this English breakfast tea in here. And it's always nice to have options for your guests in the morning. And then there's some things that don't belong in this cabinet. So I'm going to move some things. I never know where to put the cheese grater, you guys. Like, where do you put a cheese grater? You know, maybe in a drawer. So I think I'll put that somewhere else, too. And this guy I'll clean because it looks a little dirty, actually. And I think I'm just going to put the cheese grate in our drawer because I don't know where else to put you. Excuse me. You're actually kind of pretty, but. Oh, oh, that's deep. Hold on, I'll come back for that one. Oh, there we go. That's crazy. Does anybody know what kind of plant this is? Or what kind of weed this is? It's got a big root on it. It's probably actually really good for you, whatever this is. This should be the last time I have to blow leaves away because all of the leaves have dropped on the tree. So literally all the leaves that you see out front, me blowing every time in the back and everything, is all from that one tree that I filmed to show the seasons. And they've all dropped now, so I shouldn't have to do this again. Hopefully. <laughs> love having a fireplace in our house a wood burning fireplace in our house but it does get really dirty like this is the way we found it we we obviously used it but it looked like this when we got here and this is just somebody just put a bunch of wood in and this is what it looks like um and that just doesn't look very nice so the best thing that we have found to clean glass on your fireplace is what our fireplace cleaner guy recommended it is a Rutland glass cleaner, stove, grill, and hearth conditioning glass cleaner. It's like thick blue goo that you put on. And there it is. You wanna put about that much on, and then you just rub it onto the glass. It'll start to work into the soot and turn it into like a paste. You see that? Like, it is very messy, so be extra careful. You're going to go through a lot of paper towels. Do you want to see places you've never seen? Look, there's stuff here. Finn, do you think you've ever seen on top of where, where the cups go? Look at This is... This is the stove. This is the stove. And... And this is the toaster. See? Things are... Things happen up here. Look at that! That's a book! Can you smell it? <laughs> smell good. Look at it! Look at look, oh my are. gosh! I can see outside from here! Look at this! Look at This is where we keep our coffee? Things my dog's never seen. Look outside. His heart is bracing. <laughs> That's so funny.
by house. Um, it was a quick but very necessary trip because we haven't been here in a long time, especially not together. So we haven't been able to like divide and conquer on projects because Michael's been doing them all by himself. Well, we did it, 24 hours. Yeah, quick 24 hour trip, necessary though. Made me want to stay for a week. Yeah. Bye house, love you. I talked to it when we were leaving. Oh, okay. I didn't film that part. Thank you.